Hey there, it's the English Picker here. These are my flea market finds for the last week. Um, I did a uh, flea slash antiques market at the weekend. Um, made a small profit, um, but m mainly did it to show my face and get some stock out, you know, recirculate stuff and um, do some trades and things like that. I uh, did an, end up picking up a few bits, which was nice. Um, I mean, the show's not too expensive to do. It's it's about twenty pounds for a stall, and then there's free food and stuff like that. So it's a really nice atmosphere. I was all, all I was able to sit there and list stuff on eBay as well. So it's really good multitasking. Um, so yeah, I ended up picking up. Uh, the main thing was this this bag of uh, watches, and then I also picked up some jewellery here. So I'll quickly show you both of them. I'll try and keep this video short. Um, you can see here selection of watch bits, um, twelve pounds. I ended up picking it up for ten, which is really good. Um, watches, pocket watches, I've done all right on in the past actually. I avoid ladies' pocket watches if I can, unless they're solid silver. They're just a bit of a slower sell. And ladies' gold watches, unless I get them below scrap price, I'm not touching them again because I've got burnt several times on ladies' pocket, uh, ladies' wrist watches. Um, so there's some here which are sort of base metal and some more interesting ones down here. I'll show you the base metal ones first quickly. Um, I think it's a fairly newish one. You can see here some interesting engravings. And this one's Victorian because you can tell from the design, Lake Victorian. Um, no watches inside, just the cases. Then there's a little uh, Roma watch which has obviously come out of a gold gold uh, wristwatch and this one's broken but again Victorian would have been silver plated but it's worn off um, and um, I listed them that day and they sold that day for uh, $7.99 just these ones here just these bits here sold for £8 on their own plus postage uh, so I've made most of my money back there that very day sold straight away I just wanted to get rid um, so yeah uh, watch parts, things like that, broken bits, also very good if you add the word steampunk in the title because people make all sorts of things for that sort of genre of, of things, so pretty cool. Uh, next thing here was, it's a real shame it's cracked the glass but this is a case, uh, it's got a lovely um, late Victorian design on the back, you've got a, uh, a shield without a monogram, you've got a belt design which is classic Lake Victorian with this uh, engine turn design and then I open the back you can see more in there I think it is um, nickel silver because it's got a real sort of greenish look to it like the coppery look it's just a real shame about that crack otherwise it would have been quite a nice case for somebody um, I'll probably end up keeping that next thing I got here now I'm not sure about this, this may turn out to be silver, it's quite heavy uh, I want to carefully scratch test it but the glass is missing, it's got a beautifully clear face with this little second hand here I haven't got any winders so I don't know if it works and then quite a polished but um, nice engine turn back now what makes me think it is silver is it, it, it is quite worn on the back so you don't see the copper coming through and then on the inside it says <laughs> BJ um, 11554 and then another serial number and then this is quite cool it says James McLennick 4th of November 1870 so this is a really old watch I can't open this inner compartment it's sort of seized up uh, you can see the remnants of polish on the outside so I'll try and get that open and see if there's another mark inside but I think think that could be silver really cool and it's really strange because the person was a gold and silver dealer so god only knows why they're selling this it's they must have dropped the ball but this one is definitely silver again uh, a nice sort of nice face on it a few scratches and actually there's a little hairline fracture i never noticed that um but immediately you can see a very worn uh but silver hallmark just at the top here um it is damaged, but uh, you know, an experienced watch repairer hopefully should be able to repair this. This thing is bloody heavy. It must weigh two ounces on its own. 
um, obviously with a the mechanism. Then on the back you've got the shield um, cabochon bit there, which is no engraving, which is a bonus. Classic late Victorian 1890s belt buckle, again with this little lotus flower and engine turning. Shame about the dent. And then if I open it up, well I can't open it up with one hand, there we go. Then on the inside we've got uh, Birmingham Hallmark and the uh, the Lion and then the Z which I think is 1880s, I can't remember off the top of my head, I did look it up. Then we open the inner one, again same Hallmarks, maker is FK or FH, I'm not sure. And then the fairly plain but nice Swiss movement, uh, stainless lever action Swiss movement with um, several jewels there I need to get a winder again loads of remnants of polish so yeah really cool piece it, you know I'm gonna get these checked out see what they think whether it's worth restoring or whether it's a scrapper but you know I pay for most of the lot there and just really cool pieces so um, I love pocket watches especially gents one they uh, hark back to a, a time which I think I was um, I think I was a sort of a, a a Victorian in a previous life or something because they they uh, they you know connect with me in a way. Um, next things I picked up was from one dealer. Person deals in pottery and she always saves any silver for me. I picked up all this lot for twenty four pounds and I got a good deal I think. First thing I got was this lovely uh, embossed in, engraved floral scroll design. It's sterling silver and it's a christening bracelet. Christening bracelets are slow sells. They normally take a couple of months to sell as a buy it now, but they do eventually sell. Um, and you can get a pretty good price. I'll get 10 to 15 for that. This next thing I got was a probably a ladies because it is quite a small size. Uh, squ uh, square top, really art deco um, engraved signet ring. Uh, I haven't had a chance to look up the hallmark yet. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. Then this next one is um, <clears throat> a locket, very much in the um, mid-century design. The hallmark is actually 1977, uh, beautifully engraved, um, nice strong set of hallmarks on uh, a long 20-inch um, chain, sterling silver, so that's great. I'll probably get about £20 for that. And then this next piece is lovely, it's on a really unusual chain, really long chain again. Um, and it's it's fairly modern within probably the last 10 to 20 years because uh, it's marked 925 uh, it's got this really unusual pattern on the front really unusual it's a shame it's got a bit of a dent in the front but it's not too distracting because of the pattern and then uh, yeah inside it's uh, just a nice locket so this I'll probably get 25 to 30 maybe on a good day so yeah happy days so thanks for watching everyone please rate comment, subscribe, and if you know anything about any of the items I've shown today, please drop me a comment.